What? Why are people moving to South Dakota? Today, we're gonna talk about the seven reasons people are moving to South Dakota. Hey everybody, I'm Tristan Neiman with Mindful Living Realty, a realtor right here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I talk everything about moving to Rapid City and the wonderful things about Rapid City and the Black Hills. I recently came across an article that listed the top states for people moving into and moving out of. South Dakota was number four on the list. So why are people moving to South Dakota? It's cold, we've got snow, the wind blows. As I've had conversations with many of you and many people across the country, I found seven common reasons people are loving the idea of moving to South Dakota. So let's start out with number seven, no income taxes and cost of living. That's right, South Dakota has no state income tax, nor any corporate income taxes, and a very business-friendly state to do business in. If you check out the cost of living comparison to your big city, compared to Rapid City or Sioux Falls or any other city in the state of South Dakota, you'll notice a significant decrease in the cost of living needed to live that life that you're looking for. I've recently had clients from both sides of the country come in and say, you can buy that for that much? That piece of land where I'm at, that's a million dollars and you only want 200,000 for it here? That's crazy. So while home prices in our area are rising, making home affordability more and more difficult, people from bigger cities coming in are seeing great value in Rapid City, Sioux Falls, in the state of South Dakota. Number six, Midwestern hospitality. Here in South Dakota, we say hi to you on the street, we wave to you through the neighborhood, and we let you borrow our snowblower. Last month, I was at the final walkthrough with my clients at the property before closing the next day. As we were walking around the outside, the neighbor came over, introduced himself, told him about his family, talked to him about the deer in the yard, and continued to just talk all about what, how wonderful it was here in Rapid City. My buyers were so excited about this because they were used to their neighbors coming home, putting their car in the garage, and you never seeing them again. They loved the fact that they were in a neighborhood where neighbors got together, they talked, and they shared responsibilities of their neighborhood. South Dakotans are hardworking Americans that love life, love freedom, and respect your right to who you are and your individuality. So while South Dakotans will help you out in a pinch and smile to you along the bike path, the philosophy is live and let live. Number five, back to nature. South Dakota is a very agricultural state. On the west side of the state, we have lots of ranches, horse ranches, cattle ranches, hay fields. On the east side of the state, you'll find lots of farming, corn fields, soybean fields. Oh, and if you go in the fall, you'll see rows and rows of sunflowers. Such a beautiful sight to see. A lot of people moving into the state of South Dakota love the fact that they're closer to food production. Gardens are common. Growing food is a way of life. And having beef, chicken, and pork nearby is certainly a benefit. We've been buying beef straight from a rancher for a number of years now, but this past year, there's been a new Facebook page that is established where you as a customer can go straight to the rancher, buy a quarter, half, whole beef, pay for the beef, the processing, they're all in your freezer, and you're good to go for a number of months. You can do the same thing with pork producers and chicken farmers. Food is not far away in the state of South Dakota. Number four, natural beauty. I know when you think about South Dakota, the only thing you see is the Weather Channel blizzard updates. Whether you love the majestic views of the mountains, the sunsets of the prairie, or taking the boat on a lake, you'll find it all in South Dakota. In Yankton, there's a Lewis and Clark Recreation Area. We went there once and had a great time on the Missouri River. Falls Park in Sioux Falls is a great place for tourists and locals to visit alike. If boating or fishing is your thing, there are so many lakes in South Dakota. You can go to Lake Madison near Madison, South Dakota, Lake Kempeska near Watertown, and Lake Oahe near Pier. And those are just a few of the many lakes in South Dakota. One of the most popular and scenic places is the rough steps of the Badlands. Camp or walk down one of the many trails in this place that's almost a different world. And of course, there's the Black Hills National Forest. Visit the Buffalo and Custer State Park. Explore the caves in Wind Cave National Park. And take the pilgrimage up Bear Butte at Bear Butte State Park. And of course, this just touches the surface of the beauty and the nature in the state of South Dakota. Number three. No traffic. Now, of course we have some traffic, but compared to a majority of the people I've talked to, the traffic in Rapid City and Sioux Falls is 
pretty much nothing. You won't be sitting for hours on end, waiting to get downtown, waiting to get here, waiting to get there. You can always be somewhere in Rapid City, close to 20 minutes. And of course, Sioux Falls is a larger city. It might take you half an hour to get from one side to the other. And you might run into some traffic on 41st in Minnesota. But compared to your metropolitan areas, traffic in our area is really not very much at all. We also have some amazing South Dakota traffic jams. Buffaloes crossing the road in Custer State Park. The tractor along the highway in rural South Dakota. The turkeys all gathering in the middle of the road, having a grand old time. And of course, downtown, two trucks pulled up next to each other, talking about the weather. This is traffic in South Dakota. Number two, more space. South Dakota has a population density of 11.3 people per square mile in contrast to Wyoming's six, and California's 254, and New York's 27,000 people per square mile. There's room to grow, spread out, and enjoy Midwest South Dakota. In South Dakota, we love our space. We've got huge yards, big decks, and garages for all of our cars, RVs, campers, boats, utility vehicles, and so much more. And although the majority of South Dakota is rural, we do have our cities that we are proud of. Sioux Falls is our biggest city, with about 185,000 people living there. Rapid City is next, with 75,000 people. 11 of our cities are between 10 and 20,000 people. Cities such as Aberdeen, Watertown, Brookings, Pier, Box Elder, and Spearfish. An additional five are between 5 and 10,000 people. And the rest of the cities in South Dakota are under 5,000 people. We love our small town living in South Dakota. The community feel in living our best life. All right, here we go. The number one reason people are moving into the state of South Dakota based on my conversation with people across the country is no lockdowns. Now here in South Dakota, we haven't had any state mandated lockdowns during the pandemic. Now each city was responsible for their own city. So we had some lockdowns in certain cities. For instance, here in Rapid City, between March 15th-ish and June, uh, we had a no restaurants, bars, gatherings, that kind of thing was uh, shut down at that point. But since then, we had everything is open, Businesses are conducted for safely as usual, and uh, even now schools are back in session. So the majority of people I've talked to that want to move to South Dakota, want to get back to work, want to send their kids back to school, want to dine out every once in a while, and they want to enjoy the freedom that we have, the personal responsibility here in South Dakota. So there you have it, the seven reasons people are moving to the state of South Dakota. Does this sound interesting to you? Go ahead and download my free 13 reasons why you should move to Rapid City Relocation Guide. That link it's below. Go ahead and hit the like button, watch some more videos of mine to get a good feel of Rapid City, the Black Hills, and the area around. Thanks for watching, have an amazing day, and remember, love where you live.